What if I told you this element is essential to life and it represents up to 75% of your body weight? What if I told you the lack of it kills millions of people a year, mostly children and the elderly? And what if I told you that this condition is easily treated and preventable using a common available element that you have in your home? Shocking, right? But fret not. Hello friends, I'm Dr. T. Bart certified cardiologist and lifestyle medicine. Today, we're going to tackle a crucial topic that affects us all, especially during the scorching heat waves, dehydration. Stay tuned, we're gonna explore how to treat it, how to prevent it, and how to stay cool and hydrated, and when to seek emergency care. I have a bonus for you at the end of the video. Stick around, you don't want to miss it. How do we treat dehydration? Treating dehydration involves replenishing the lost fluids, electrolytes in your body. And in mild cases, you just need to drink plenty of water or electrolyte-rich beverage, even sports beverage may be helpful, although you have to be careful because they may have too much sugar. For children, there are solutions like Pedialyte that will be very healthy in addition to water has other minerals. And for less resourceful countries, you can even prepare your own solution, mixing one liter of water with half a teaspoon of salt and six teaspoons of sugar. It will stir till it's all dissolved. And the World Health Organization has worked in creating oral hydrating solutions that make it available globally. Some dehydration can lead to significant drop in blood pressure or severe with dire consequences leading to hypovolemic shock and death. That's why every year, countless lives are lost to this condition. Even in the United States, the hydration contributes to thousands of deaths a year, and globally the numbers are staggering, up to 7 million deaths, mainly children worldwide, uh, due to diarrhea. How to prevent the hydration? So let's shift the gears and focus on prevention. As the saying goes, one ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. You have two options. You have to drink more or you have to lose less. Drink more, you need to hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Uh, make it a habit of drinking plenty of fluids throughout the day, even if you don't feel thirsty. Obviously water, and you could add a flavor to it with a wedge of lime or uh, lemon. You could use uh, milk, herbal teas, and uh, uh, hydrating foods like fruits and vegetables that have significant amount of water as well. You want to be careful. You want to avoid excessive caffeine and alcohol because this beverage actually can increase fluid losses. They act like a mild diuretic. They get rid of the urine. Second, you want to try to minimize losses. So you want to utilize fans, air conditioning, if you have access to it, keep your living spaces cool. If you're going to schedule outdoor activities, try during cooler times of the day, in the morning or the late evening. You want to seek shade and cool places. You want to dress for the heat. You want to wear loose, breathable clothing and opt for lighter colors that reflects the sun rays rather than absorb them. And don't forget to wear a hat or a sunglasses. You could take refreshing showers or baths. A cool shower or bath can actually help your body temperature as well. Now let's address a very critical question. When should you go to the emergency room? Dehydration can quickly become life-threatening if left untreated. You look out for symptoms, neurological symptoms, confusion, altered mental status, uh, seizures, or even loss of consciousness, rapid heartbeat, uh, palpitations, and evidence of very low blood pressure. Severe dehydration will lead to electrolyte imbalance and kidney stones and kidney failure and heat-related issues like a heat stroke. All these conditions require immediate uh, medical attention. Pension would lead to hypovolemic shock life-threatening condition to the dangerous levels of low blood pressure. By the way, blood pressure can get you a ticket to emergency room in two ways. If it's too low, like in this condition we talk about, very severe dehydration, or if it's too high, uh, the opposite, uh, that can get you into a hypertensive crisis or hypertensive urgency. And if you want to learn how to lower your blood pressure naturally, watch this video, top seven ways to lower your blood pressure naturally without medication. So I'll put a link above in the description below. And here is my bonus question, I promise. Is it water the only option for staying hydrated? No. Here's a list of 10 fruits and vegetables that have 90 to 99% of water. 
Let me repeat, 90 to 99% of water. Number one, cabbage. Many people recognize cabbage for its a source of fiber, but it has a lot of minerals, even proteins. And there's a potassium rich food that could help you lower your blood pressure, your LDL. It's good for your heart. Number two, cantaloupe. Cantaloupes are filled with antioxidants, including beta carotenes, lutein, promotes fullness and reduces your appetite. Number three, cauliflower, rich again vitamin C, K, lower your cholesterol and even your cancer risk as well. Number four, celery, high in vitamin C, K, folate and potassium, protects you from heart disease and certain cancers. Number five, cucumbers are anti-inflammatory, anti-wrinkling and anti-aging. Number six, lettuce. The iceberg lettuce, for instance, uh, the ice might as well be melted since this type of lettuce contains 95% of water. But it's a source of folate important for everybody, especially for pregnant women. Number seven, spinach. Good source of iron strengthens the immune system and your bones because it's rich in minerals, like calcium, manganese, and vitamin K. Number eight, strawberries. Provide rich source of flavonoids, helps reduce inflammation. Number nine, squash. Source of uh, many vitamins and mineral antioxidants, great for your eye health and for your skin health as well. And number 10, watermelon contains antioxidants like lycopene, protects cells from oxidative distress. In addition, other fruits and vegetables you're very familiar with, apples, grapes, oranges, pears, for instance, have 80 to 90% of their content is water. If you eat lots of fruits and vegetables, you're hydrating yourself without even realizing it. So. Water is essential for life. Water represents a critical nutrient whose absence will be lethal within days. The hydration is a serious issue responsible for thousands of deaths in the U.S. and up to 7 million globally, affecting mainly children under the age of 5. You want to stay cool, stay safe, stay hydrated, and remember your health, your most precious asset. Take control. Forgot something. Drink less, age more.